MMAweekly.com, Damon Martin here with Josh Koscheck at the UFC Fan Expo. Josh, uh, last fight, of course, huge win for you over Matt Hughes, beating a legend like that. Uh, how did it feel to get back in there? I know you've been out for a while, and I know you're not a guy who likes to sit out for a while. Uh, it felt good to get back in the, you know, in the, in the octagon and fight. Um, you know, it was a good opportunity for me to step up and, and take the fight with Matt Hughes on short notice for the fans, you know, for the UFC. So, uh, you know, I, I'm just happy that I got an opportunity to fight again. You know, you know, back in December, you know, I didn't really know, you know, what my destiny was, you know, if I was going to be able to fight again or not. So, um, with the injury that I had, so it was kind of a, a good, a good uh, feeling that, you know, I, I get to come back, you know, I get to fight, and, uh, you know, obviously I got a, a big win, so I'm real pumped about it. You're a guy I know, I talked to you years ago, you had asked for a fight with Matt Hughes a long time ago. You finally got it, um, and the way it looks like right now, it may be his last fight ever. Now, I know you're not, you're, you weren't going in there thinking, I'm going to retire Matt Hughes, but what does it mean significance-wise to not only fight him, but to maybe be the last guy to ever face a guy like Matt Hughes? Uh, you know, I don't know that yet, you know, I mean, because we don't know if Matt Hughes is going to, you know, obviously, you know, he's a competitor. Uh, and I think that uh, I think that he might do one more fight. To be honest with you, I, I don't think he wants to go out like that. And, you know, I think that uh, he'll go home, reevaluate his career, and you know what he's done. And I think I think he'll come back for one more. Um, you know, it's like I said, it's, it was a good honor to fight Matt Hughes. Um, you know, I've been calling him out for a while, and I finally got the chance. And you know, I jumped on it. And, you know, uh, it uh, it paid off for me. I know you've been talking, you know, you like to stay active, and you mentioned before this fight, the reason you were thinking about taking a fight at middleweight was because there just wasn't anybody available to fight at welterweight. Um, coming off that win, where are, your, where are your thoughts right now? I mean, are you focused on welterweight, or are you just focused on the best fight out there for you? I'm trying to get paid, man. My con I'm working to renegotiate my contract right now, so I, I, that's probably why I'm not fighting in uh, San Jose, but, you know, it'll all work out. We're going to, you know... Uh, you know, speak with DOC within the next couple of weeks and, you know, get a new contract going and, uh, you know, I'll fight wherever they want, want me to fight. I'm a money fighter, you know. I'm, I'm about making money. <laughs> does it does it matter? I mean, obviously the money, I mean, there's big fights at both weight classes, but like you said, there's still a lot of people tied up at welterweight, so. Yeah, I'll fight. I'll fight 185. I'll fight 205. I'll fight heavyweight if I'm getting paid enough, <laughs> you know. So I don't care who I fight. I just, I just like to fight, you know, that's what I do. And, uh, uh, I, I just I just want to fight, you know. I mean, I, I don't have much longer in this career, and at this point, I want to take big fights, uh, big names, and uh, you know, uh, sell the hell out of the the, the fight and uh, go in there and perform and win. You, obviously, when you say you're at this stage of your career, um, what what is most important to you? Is it titles? Is it money? Is it is it you know pleasing the fans? I mean, what's what's the biggest thing to you right now? Uh, obviously, I'll never please the fans. <laughs> you know, it's, you know, one of the things I say is it's it's so much easier to hate than to love. You know, um, so uh, for for that, you know, it is what it is, and uh, you know, I, I'm running with it. You know, I've I've had a, uh, a great career. Uh, you know, if you look at look at my track record, you know, I fought a lot of good guys, and you know. Uh, I think that uh, you know that that'll speak for itself at the end of the day when it's all said and done. Uh, I want to ask you real quick. You know your division right now, anyways, is welterweight. We got the welterweight title fight coming up with uh, with uh, Carlos Condit, George St. Pierre. Uh, you're obviously very familiar with GSP. You haven't fought Condit before, but give us your thoughts on that fight. Who do you think is going to come out on top? Yeah, you'll, you'll see George do his, his thing. You know, he'll come out. And, you know, if he doesn't get caught, you know, I think it's a, it's a, it's an easy fight for George. You know, he'll just use his jab and wrestling. You know. And, and take the fight where he always does and pick him apart, you know. Um, but I don't see myself fighting for the title anytime soon unless George loses, you know. I mean, let's see, if you guys want to see a third, you know, GSP Koshek fight right away, I mean, I'm down for it. Don't get me wrong. But uh, that's a tough sell for the UFC, you know. So um, I think that, uh, you know, uh, you know, I definitely am uh, right now just focus on winning fights and making money. That's it, you know what I mean? Because there's no but you know, unless GSP loses, I'm not going to get title shot. Let's be real. So, uh, you know, uh, it is what it is. I'm, I'm just trying to make money and get paid. Contract negotiations are what they are, but in your own mind, are you hoping to get one more fight in this year? Well, I'd like to. I mean, I'd like to fight in December. Um, you know, I, I was ready to go in November, but, you know, they said no chance. So. Um, so now I'm just hanging out, partying, and enjoying life again. <laughs> Last question. I know you're a big uh, big NASCAR fan. You watching the uh, the Sprint Cup Series? I haven't got a chance, man. I've been so busy. You know, I haven't got a chance to watch too much TV. You know, uh, I got a lot going on. You know, back in Fresno, you know, gyms, all kinds of crap. You know, so uh, I haven't got a chance to watch, but I'll catch up on it. I know that uh, there was a last. Was it two weeks ago? There was a big uh, lead change in, in the chase. I know. I noticed that. So uh, should, should be an interesting, uh, an interesting for the NASCAR. Excellent. Thank you, Josh. Yep. Thank you.